Today, I want to talk to you about propane. Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. Today, on Tuesday Talks, for our viewers, we're going to discuss propane. So, how many times have you ever gotten to your destination and you open the door to go into your RV and you think you smell gas? Eggs. I smell eggs. It happens to me, or it used to happen to me rather frequently, and by the time Jimmy would get over here, I'm like, I smell gas, and he would come in, the smell had dissipated. So, I was always concerned, do we have a leak? Is something wrong? Is always it just, concerned. Well, or is it just that now that you've hooked up to your shore power, the refrigerator has gone into electric mode, and when it, you know, turned off the gas, it left that little bit of gas smell. I, I just never knew. But since it went away, I didn't really worry about it. So what do you guys do or what do you use to give you the feeling that you're safe, that you don't have a gas leak? Because we never used anything. We just, you know, I would say I smell gas. We'd open the windows, open the doors and, and blow see it if all it went out away. Of there, so. And it wasn't like the whole place was filled with the gas smell. It was just like as soon as I would open the door, it was like... I, I don't know. Maybe so every I smell every gas. time we came, she said, "I'm I afraid gas. I smell gas. I smell gas." And of course, that gets me all nervous. Now we have gas in the camper. So when we were at the Tampa show, we were walking around, and you know, there's all those vendors there, and we found something that we want to share with you guys. And it seems like it's helped us a lot, as least far as knowing whether or not right. we have a gas. It makes not, me so. feel confident that we're safe. And he had heard about it before, but we'd never really seen it in person. So at the Tampa show, we got to go to the booth, talk with the manufacturer, and um, you know make a decision as to whether or not we thought it was beneficial. And so what we found was we the gas stop. And I know you guys probably heard a lot about them, but we have been using them since Tampa. So that's been... Since January, so... Whatever, a couple, four, four or five four months. months. Um, they work great. Basically, all you do is you hook this up, put your hook it up to your gas bottle... Hook up your propane to this side. And so if you have two bottles, you're going to want you, two you of these. You're going to have to, buy two have to put one on each one. Some campers have four. You'll have to have four. So, so how many bottles you have, you'll have to buy one for every bottle. But basically, you just hook it up and you prime it three times. And it actually tells you, it helps you too. It shows you and tells you how much gas is in your bottles. So you don't have to worry about putting the water on there and seeing if the water is sweating. Um, to we see used how much to have like the have. little monitor thing that told us how much gas was in the tanks and it never worked right. It so never worked correctly. So this, now I This can, does everything. It, it keeps us safe and it tells us when we're about to run out of propane. I can look in there every once in a while and just see how much is left. So it, it, it does help a lot as far as that goes. Um, as far as checking it to see if you have a gas leak, you can just leave it hooked up for a day or two and try not to run anything. If you, run, if you don't run anything and the little needle does not move, you don't have a slow leak at least. Right. If for some reason... But what if you had a fast leak? Like what if a connection failed and, and all of a sudden, boom, you've got gas just pouring in? Because you know we're driving down the road and things bouncing and things, things disconnect. So if you have a fast leak, it's designed to cut off like that. So if, if there's something in the refrigerator, something in the stove, or just something going on and it's more than a certain uh, pressure, this thing will shut it off completely right here at the valve. So it's, it's a gas stop because it stops the gas from flowing through. So if it detects a fast leak, it automatically cuts off your propane. So we're using these on both of our tanks. We also have one that we use on our... our propane for like our, um, our, our Razor Pro griddle that we have that we use outside. We have the small, the small bottle like you have on a gas grill at home. So we'll use that. that that's not going to help me tell me whether or not there's a leak or help me tell me if there's a fast leak because, you know, outside I don't care. I turn it off when I'm done anyway. But at least but it tells tell me how much, how much I have left instead of having to pick it up and shake it and see where we are. So uh, once again, these Tuesday talks are just stuff that we use every single day when we're out and about. Um, anything we can help you guys be safe. Um, yeah, and like it's more of a piece of mind. I mean, it is a safety thing because clearly it's propane and... This is basically um, a big box of kindling, so, you know, propane and a spark, and it could all be gone in an instant. So it is a safety thing, but it also gives you that peace of mind that you don't have a leak. Um, I don't think it's ever going to guarantee that your camper's not going to catch on fire because well, no, of a gas leak, but, but anything that's better than nothing. But keep an eye on things. So, again, if you guys have something you're using that's similar or does the same thing, please comment below so that we can see that and check it out as well. If you're not using anything, 
even if it's not this, please use something because we want everybody to stay safe out there. Now, we still use our carbon monoxide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, still have the carbon stuff, monoxide yeah. detector and all that. But this is just kind of a, you know, if you have a slow leak or you have even a fast leak and you think you got plenty of propane and you head out for the weekend and it's cold and you go to turn your gas on and turn your heat on and Been there. you've got none, that's a problem. So just something that we found that's relatively inexpensive. Um but gives you a great peace of mind and helps keep you safe. We will throw a link down below if you're wanting to buy one of these. They're yeah, we'll have a link in our Amazon store. I think they were like forty something dollars. I think they're seventy dollars. Okay, area, well, so they, it's worth seventy dollars. Maybe they were on sale at the Tampa show. They were, they were, and we got a discount because they were on sale and then they were running a special. So, so if you guys are getting value mm -hmm. out of these Tuesday tips, we would really, really, really like to know. We're enjoying doing these. We're trying to find other things that we can use. It's going to help you guys out there in the real world. Um, so if you have a question, please, please comment, ask below. Let us know. Um, we get a lot of our, I guess, content ideas, especially for the Tuesday talks, from comments and questions that people ask. So please ask away, or comment if there's a particular product you're interested in, or if you're having a problem. Um, maybe we know a solution, so we're happy to share that with you. So if you guys are liking these, please make sure you give us those thumbs up. Ring the bell, subscribe. You know, do all the things. We appreciate your support. And until the next time you find us camping. Safe travel. Saw you from across the room. When our eyes met, I never knew.